Okay, thank you for your patience as we brought up our final group. A um, couple things I want to share with you before we do um, our portion of the program. Uh, first, some thank yous. As I say every time that uh, we get up here to do this, we can't do what we do without wonderful support um, from all over the district. Um, so from our wonderful superintendent to Principal Ragland here to Mark Scholl, who is our um, fine arts coordinator, uh, we're just very fortunate to have such a supportive community and administration here. So a big thank you to all of them, please. And uh, of course, literally none of us would actually be here for, for our wonderful parents. And sometimes, kids, I know as a parent myself, sometimes our children forget to thank us for all the wonderful things we do. <laughs> I won't name any names. Anyway, uh, so students, for all the car rides back and forth and the private lessons and all those late night pickups and drop off, will you help me thank your parents, please? All right, um, we had kind of a fun week here in preparation for this concert as well as for large group. We, we brought in a guest, which was really wonderful, someone I've wanted the opportunity to work with for quite a while. Uh, Dr. Russ Mickelson, uh, who is director of bands at Ohio State, came and spent all day Tuesday with us, worked with all four of the groups, gave us some really great feedback, and uh, it was just a wonderful day. I know it was fun for Mr. Schultz because uh, he was his director at uh, Ohio State, and I would not get, got to work with him before, and uh, so it was a great experience for me, and I and I know for the students as well. So uh, he gave us some great stuff to kind of chew on and think about as we're preparing for the concert and uh, for the last two groups as we're preparing for contests. So um, with, with that, we've kind of been applying some of those things over the last couple days, and uh, it's really made, made a big difference. So um, we're going to finish out uh, the program tonight with the Wind Symphony. They'll be heading to Thomas Worthington on Saturday the 16th, and they perform at 235 so again, mark your calendar. We hope that you will come out and support them. Uh, we've picked a really fun program, I think. Uh, we'll begin with Circus Bee, which is uh, one of uh, Fillmore's most popular and difficult pieces. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Um, don't blink or you'll miss it. It goes by pretty quick, uh, but it's, it's a great piece. Um, second, we're going to do a really cool piece called Arabesque. As the name uh, suggests, it's written to, it actually is uh, to kind of an homage to the heritage of the composer Sam Hazo had uh, both his parents were from uh, that uh, side of the world and his mother said are you going to ever write a piece which uh, you know enhances your Arab heritage and he said okay mom because we all know we do what our mother says so uh, he wrote this piece kind of for her uh, as a way to uh, kind of honor that heritage that part of his as, of his life. And then we're going to close with um, a piece that has quickly became one of my favorite pieces that I've ever had the opportunity to do, Give Us This Day. Um, it was written by David Mislanka, and uh, we lost uh, Mr. Mislanka about four or five years ago. He passed, and uh, I was fortunate enough to have the opportunity to talk with several directors who worked with him personally on this piece and kind of get some inside information, which we were able to share with the students, so we could kind of get uh, inside the composer's head a little bit. Um, he, as, as he talks about in his program notes, he's not a Buddhist, but this piece was kind of a combination of many different religions. Uh, Buddhist was part of it, give us this day, obviously, from the Lord's Prayer. Um, and uh, he kind of took all those things, and, and the idea of this piece is what would things be like if we were so sure of ourselves, so confident in, in who we are as human beings. And uh, he, his, his feeling was if we could all find that inner peace that's inside us, that we would be able to find world peace. And that's kind of the heart of this. You're going to hear some tension. You're going to hear some um, angst at times. And then you're going to hear just some beautiful moments when uh, hopefully we all feel that peace that just kind of settles in. So uh, I think it's a wonderful way to end the program. So thank you so much for coming this evening. Again, we hope that we will see you out at Thomas Worthington in about two weeks um, for the last two groups uh, as they perform at OMEA Love Group. Thank you.
All right. Thank you again so much for coming this evening. Thank you for supporting these young musicians. And again, we hope to see some of you at Thomas Worthington in about two weeks. Thank you.